Hi, this is Shelley Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're live in San Francisco with LHA. I have Ed Quilty of Derma Sciences Symbol, DSCI. Ed, welcome to SNN. Thank you, Shelley, and thank you for having me. It's good to have you. Glad to be here. All right, let's get right into it. What do you do? Uh, we're a wound care company. We uh, develop products for uh, treating chronic non-healing wounds. Uh, both devices and drugs. Uh, we have a, um, a drug that uh, completed phase two trial last year. Uh, we hope to be in phase three trial by the middle of this year. And our device business is growing at uh, between 30 and 45% a year, our dressing business. And then we also have a commodity dressing business, uh, our core traditional wound care products, which have provided the cash flow and the funding for uh, building our higher margin uh, products for treating chronic non-healing wounds and chronic non-healing wounds are those that those types of wounds that uh, don't heal under normal care in three months mm. I know a little bit about this topic you know I've seen companies that are in this field what separates you from your competition and please tell the yeah. investors if well, it's our proprietary products uh, on our device line, uh, led by our MediHoney line of dressings, which are comprised of a very uh, special species of honey, which is indigenous to New Zealand, uh, called Leptospermum or Manuka honey. And this dressing, uh, these, this honey remains active in the presence of wound fluid, so it uh, it stays active for the life of the dressing. We also have another uh, number of other products in our in our device line uh, that are proprietary and patented as well including our Extrasorb uh, line of products, which are for treating, uh, for handling fluid exudate that comes from wounds uh, at any stage, heavily exudating to um, moderately heavily exudating wounds. Uh, we have a product called, product line called BioGuard, which is comprised of a, uh, a compound that we licensed from a small company in Florida, which acts as a pro, what we incorporated in the dressing, it acts to prevent MRSA and other superbugs from getting through the dressing into the wound. And then, of course, we have our DSC-127, uh, which is our drug, um, which we hope to be in phase three trial in the middle of this year. And the in, in its indication is the healing of diabetic foot ulcers. So it certainly would be a, uh, a paradigm shift in, in, in wound care and that it would be, um, it would have a, it would be a prescription drug for, uh, that physicians could prescribed for the healing of diabetic foot ulcers, and we're hopeful that in the phase three trial it will be as successful as it was in the phase two trial. An oral or is it topical? It's a topical. It's in a gel, and it's applied uh, daily uh, by the patient or the caregiver for four weeks, and uh, and then in the, in the phase two trial, those patients were followed for another eight weeks, uh, which is what the FDA measures these types of products on, on how how, what kind of healing rates did you get during that 12, 12 week period? You know, this may sound funny, but I just recently learned that honey is the only thing that doesn't go bad. Honey will, you know, when they opened up the pyramids, they found pots of honey in there that were, you know, thousands of years old. So honey is the only food product that you can put on a shelf and it'll never go bad. Uh, the honey that we use, this Manuka honey, has been sold by our partner. Uh, a company called Comvita, which is a, um, a New Zealand-based company. They've been selling this honey for 75 years for uh, good health, treatment of gastric prob prob uh, problems, and it's in the last decade that uh, it started to be used for uh, wound healing. And honey has been used for in, in wound healing for, for many years and was prior to uh, systemic antibiotics. Honey was used in world prior to World War II, uh, to treat field wounds and in the in the military and such, it's interesting, isn't it? It's very interesting. So, um, what haven't I asked you that you would like to tell our audience? Well, you know, Derma Sciences is still a relatively unknown company. Um, we've been growing quite nicely for the for the last uh, three or four years. Our sales growth in our device and our advanced wound dressing businesses has been 50, 60 percent, and uh, we're still relatively unknown. And of course, we did get some notoriety this year when we had uh, our phase two data on our wound healing drug. There, there are really no, it really is truly an unmet clinical need. There are real, not any real good drugs on the market. There's only one drug 
that's been approved for wound healing, and it uh, it is not considered a very good drug by the the wound care community. Uh, so, and there also have been many failures in phase two where they did not show the efficacy and the healing rates that that we were able to show in our phase uh, two data. So it's um, it's quite exciting, and we're we're basically the only company that has uh, uh, really showing the types of healing rates that we hope we'll see in the phase three and can benefit patients that have diabetes such as as yourself and uh, you know a, a large percent of those patients uh, almost 25 uh, percent during their lifetime get some sort of ulcer uh, associated with diabetes it's a personal reason but i wish you all the luck in the world what is your background just just business i've been in the in the medical business my my whole career i've been uh, CEO of uh, several different companies and uh, enjoy doing this. Oh, I can tell. I like it. What's your website? Uh, Dermasciences.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Dermasciences.com. Ed Quilty, symbol D S C I. I want to welcome thank and you. thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming on to SNN Live. Thank you very Great much. Story. Thanks for having me.